It's been, what, 15 years? About that, yes. 15 years is a long time to wait. Can't imagine how much I've suffered. You've suffered? But now, the perfect opportunity has presented itself. At last, I shall have my revenge. What? Merry Christmas. Dun dun dun! But even more shocking is the man behind the gun. Miles Edgeworth. December 25th, 10.08 a.m. Wright & Co. Law Offices. Hey, hey, Nick! Do you know if there are any good waterfalls around here? Waterfalls? Dare I ask why? Duh, Nick! Isn't it obvious? <laughs> Merry Christmas, it's murder time. Accurate. I need a waterfall to stand under, prefer- hey. You've been great with this series, don't be a brat. Oh, is that part of your spirit medium training? Of course, except I've been slacking off lately. I need to brave the elements and for to, and be forged anew under the rushing spring waters. Um, okay. I don't know about any falls, but uh, per se, but Gord Lake is pretty close. Oh, darn. Sorry, but them's the breaks. Couldn't you just take a cold shower or something? Hmm. Good idea! So much for rushing spring waters. Next in the news. A large, unidentified animal was sighted at Gord Lake. The town is buzzing with excitement. Locals are calling it Gordy. But a tip to the, of the hat to Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster. Though its namesake, Nessie proved to be a hoax. Locals are confident there. Gordy is the real deal, even though they only just recently saw it. Ugh, boring. Can't they show real news for a change? Nick? Hmm? The water pressure's kind of low in that shower. Uh, you want more pressure, huh? Why don't you go down to the fire department and have them spray you with a hose? <gasps> Good idea, Nick! <laughs> oh my god, Rallis! <laughs> Apparently, Fey Blood is no aid in detecting car uh, sarcasm. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Strange occurrences continue at Gord Lake, but this time it's murder! Gord Lake again? The body of a man was found in the lake early this morning. A suspect was apprehended. Sources inside the police department revealed that the suspect's name is Miles Edgeworth, age 24. Edgeworth is, was an up-and-coming prosecutor known for his skill in connections. He was guaranteed a long and rewarding career. Has he thrown it all away? Huh? Edgeworth? What's going on? Edgeworth would never do something like... Yikes! Uh, uh, Maya! The fireman yelled at me when I called him. You've got bigger things to worry about than that. They arrested Edgeworth. What? You mean the prosecutor? Yeah, he's a suspect in a murder. What? When? Where? Who? Why? How? I, I, I don't know. Let's go find out, Nick. <laughs> this poor man. Plant, it's same as Charlie. I has got a knack for watering it lately. Charlie's been perking up these days. Well, that's good. She's finally figured out not to overwater it. It's like it's cleaning day at the hotel across the way. I hear they're planning on a second branch outside the city. I can see the bellboy getting the angle out of that screw of that screwdriver in the drawer just right. Maya brought. In a poster of the Seal Samurai the other day, 
We had a big fight over whether to put it up or not. I know she's just wanting or waiting for a chance to sneak it up on the wall. Your old looking legal books stand in a formidable row. They mock me. I tried reading one and it made my head hurt. When I closed it, it slipped out of my hand and then my foot hurt too. Mia's desk. If you had more clients, I would probably sit here more often. Lately, I've been spending more time on the couch watching TV. Alright. Aggressive lawyering! Let's go to the detention center. It's time to go catch up with Miles. December 25th, detention center. Visitor's room. You know, Nick? We've all been in here one time or another, haven't we? I guess it comes with the territory. I'm not sure if it's something we should mention to many people. Oh, oh, there he is. Mm. Ah! <laughs> hey, Edgeworth, come back! What are you doing here? Nick, I don't think he's in a very good mood. Well, he is in detention. <laughs> were you in a good mood when you were here? So, you've come to laugh at the fallen attorney. Then laugh. Laugh. Well, why aren't you laughing? Nick, should we be laughing? Nah, it's a trick. Laugh and he'll get mad or burst into tears. Edgeworth. We don't have much, so much free time we can spend coming down here to laugh at you. Yes, you do. Actually, he's right. I hoped you wouldn't come. I didn't want to see you, you to see me. Not like this. I didn't want to see you like this either, believe me. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch since I came in. A real pro. Maybe he's just nervous with Edgeworth in the room. That's fair! It's Edgeworth! Smile for the camera. What happened? Edgeworth, tell me what happened. Why should I? What are you going to do about it? Duh! We're going to help you, that's what. <laughs> help you? Don't be ridiculous. Sorry. You're a novice. You've only been in three trials. Hey! Sure, you got lucky and won all three, but your luck's bound to run out someday. You need real skill, right? Experience. <clears throat> Nick, he's insulting you! Nick? Why am I always the one to, like, who has to get angry? Gord Lake. The murder took place at Gord Lake, right? Yes, late last night. The lake is a long way away from your offices in the courthouse. Why were you down there? I see no need to tell you. Mr. Edgeworth? You, you didn't really... Gordy. Huh? I went to see Gordy. Gordy? What's that? I'll tell you later. Why would Edgeworth talk to us? I won't Edgeworth talk to us. No, I still have an attorney badge, Edgeworth! <laughs> That's definitely what you gotta show him, right? <laughs> oh god. <sighs> Our poor boy. December 25th, Gord Lake Park entrance. This is where it happened? Yeah, Gord Lake is in the middle of this park. I can see some police walking around in there. Questioning people, probably. Hey, isn't that Detective Gumshoe over there? Well, pal! There's enough of us here. Anyone found anything? S sorry sir, nothing. Idiot. The trial's tomorrow. We need clues on the double. B but sir, there aren't any, there weren't any clues. That's why they we arrested the uh, that attorney, Mr. Edgeworth. It's clear, sir. 
Is he one who- Shut up! Just you try saying that again. I'll- I'll- I'll make you sorry if you do. So just- Just get out of my face, pal. Y yes sir. Detective Gumshoe's kind of scary today. Recruits. Bah. <laughs> ah! Hey! You're that Harry Butt! Harry guy! Harry Butt! Right! Phoenix Wright! Will he ever learn my name? And just what are you doing here, pal? Investigating? Huh? Um, well, yes, I suppose. Well, I'm here to help. Ask me anything you want. Bring it! He seems different than usual. I wonder what's up. Um, Sir Edgeworth hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Huh? Oh, y you don't say. What happened? Detective Gumshoe, do you know what happened here? Huh? You don't know, Belle? No. Wow, okay, Mr. Head in the Fluffy Pink Clouds lawyer. And the- what? <laughs> Never mind, I'll tell you. It happened last night, about 15 minutes after midnight. So, this morning? Just 15 past? There was a boat on Gord Lake. In that boat were two men. One of these men shot the other with a pistol. And the uh, shooter... Er, in the shooter was Mr. Edgeworth? A cop who arrived in the scene arrested him. How did they get there so fast? Well, there was a witness. When the report came in, we raced to the lake. A witness? You don't think Mr. Edgeworth is a murderer, do you? Absolutely not! That's impossible! I don't care if there is a witness either! I don't believe a lick of it! Right! Who cares what the witness says? I care! <laughs> hmm. You really believe in him, don't you, detective? Of course I do, but the police are pretty sure he's the killer. Nobody's even really taken this investigation that seriously. Oh no! After all the help Miss Edgeworth has been to us, I don't imagine that no one's standing up to take his side. Well, at least you are, detective. At least you are. Defense request. Do you know who will be Mr. Edgeworth's atter defense attorney in tomorrow's trial? He hasn't got one yet. What? The trial is tomorrow, isn't it? Well, I don't know the whole story, but apparently no one he's been talking to will take his case. Why not? Mr. Edgeworth won't tell me. When you guys showed up, I figured he'd ask you to defend him. Unfortunately not. Well, pal, then you got a job to do. Help out, Miss Edgeworth. Prove that badge you wear isn't just some fancy piece of metal. Prove it to me, pal! Show me that you're a tyranny! <laughs> freaking love freaking gumshoes. <laughs> Who was this witness? Eh, uh, sorry, pal. That's confidential. Anyway, the witness saw everything, apparently. I'm sure they'll turn up at the trial tomorrow. Was there only one witness? Yup. It was pretty cold on the lake last night. And it was Christmas Eve after all. Still, we're being thorough. You never know when you're going to turn up another witness. That's why we're here checking today, or er, today checking things out. So far, we're coming up empty. Oh, it's Christmas today. I'd forgotten. What are you getting? Me for Christmas, Nick. Talk to Santa. <laughs> Signs and scored link. Natural park. This place is full of families picnicking on the weekends. But no waterfall. Not many picnickers come here for spiritual training, man. Yeah. I feel winter's chill from the barely trees today. Uh, what is it about winter that turns people into poets? I don't know. And my toes are starting to feel numb. Yes. My to poetry has that effect on some people. <laughs> Accurate. We are an attorney. A 
impressive detective work. <laughs> Oh, hell, we can't even, like... Your attorney badge. Edgeworth. Let me defend you. Ugh. <laughs> Good one, right? But I'm not that hard up. Not yet. What do you mean by that? Me? Professor what behind the ears, lawyer with only three trials under his belt? Never. What? My case is near hopeless, right? Every defense attorney that I've talked to has turned me down. What? Simply put, they were, they were afraid they'd lose. It occurred to me that it might be my fault that they lack confidence. After all, I did get every single one of their clients declared guilty. I don't believe that! Regardless, I don't want you involved in this. You're in a you in particular, I cannot ask to do this. Edgeworth. This is really hard for me to ask, but you didn't do it, right? Right? Think what you will. I have only one request. Huh? Stay out of this case. Why? But, but Nick is trying to help you! I know. I know that! But I don't want your help, okay? Uh, why not? Look, just go away and leave me alone! Nick, Sir Edgeworth did it, didn't he? Maya, let's go investigate somewhere. But, Nick... Is it true no one will take Mr. Edgeworth's case? Yeah. He's a bit of a celebrity. You defended him, and you lost your reputation to be sure to suffer. What's more, the case against him is, well, it's pretty solid. I suppose it would be if they had a witness. Hey, Pat! Don't you tell me you're going to turn your back on him, too! Remember the Steel Samurai case! Mr. Edgeworth heard Do you get... Your client declared innocent. I, I know. I went to Edgeworth. I tried. He really doesn't want us to represent him. Especially not us, he said. What? Well, that doesn't make any sense, pal. You should have heard him talking about you after that trial. You kept saying, right, 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 over and over. <laughs> huh? Nick? I'm not sure that's a good sign. Neither am I. Why wouldn't he want your help? I don't get it. Detective Gumshoe, sir! What, find something? Um, no, sir, not yet. Uh, but there was a call from the pre precinct. They want to hold an investigation briefing. A briefing? Right, I'm off. Oh, sorry, pal. I guess you heard. I gotta go. Any last things you want me uh, want to ask me before I head back? The autopsy report. Well, yes, do you have any information on the victim? Sorry, they haven't worked up the autopsy yet. I'm still waiting for myself. Actually, see so if you get the time, drop by the precinct. We can talk more there, Paul. You're not coming back, Detective? Um, probably not, Belle. So, what should we do if we have something to talk to you about? Ah, right. Here, I'll show you how to get to the precinct. Come down and see me anytime. Directions, the police station received from Detective Gumshoe. Oh, hey, Detective Gumshoe. What? Um, we'd like to take a look around the park. Can we walk around? Yeah, no problem, Belle. You got my permission. You know, Nick, I think there's something to be said for people. Or talking to people when they're busy. Yeah. They don't have time to think about not giving you the information. Right. Now let's get investigating. Got some investigating to do. December 25th, Gord Lake, Public Beach. Wowzers! Is this Gord Lake? Yep. Not sure if it war uh, warrants uh, wowzers, though. 
Hmm, probably not. But hey, look at this sack stand. Samurai dogs. I want a samurai dog, please. I bet they're great. With a name like Samurai Dog, how could they not be? They're a little behind the times, though. The kids are all into the Pink Princess now. I mean, like, you know? Oh. Oh, someone left poppers here. You know, you pull the string and it goes pop. Yeah, I know the ones. You see them there a lot around New Year's. Hey, Nick! They might be a clue. Let's take them. Come on, admit it. You just want to pop them, right? Well, isn't that obvious? Poppers. Hmm. True. Suppose it couldn't hurt. Huh? Where'd they go? Into my pocket. Classic party noisemaker pulled the string, goes bang. Not very clue worthy. Trash can is empty. At least the place is well maintained. I almost didn't see the signpost. Left, boat docks, right, exit. Wow, Gord Lake is really big. Yeah. Say, Nick, why is it called Gord Lake? Oh. Well, a long time ago, they used to grow gourds here. Whoa, no way! I'm sure it, would be, it was because the lake looked like a gourd from when, uh, when viewed from above. You know, like an hourglass shape? Well, it's sure it is shaped like a gourd, actually, but that's just a coincidence. Oh, okay. A hot dog stand. It's closed. The Christmas fringe looks a little half baked. Banners read samurai dogs. Someone needs to redecorate it. Line up of plastic benches. I guess the idea is you buy a dog and eat it here. I doubt anyone would sit here and eat one on a day like this. Except maybe Maya. If she had a samurai dog. Let's go to the boat rental place. December 25th, boat rental shop. Nick! What is this place? Boat rental shop. Closed for Christmas, it seems. Guess a murder taking place on one of the boats won't be good for business either. Boats? Never ridden a boat. Really? Well, how about we go on one when the trial's finished? Hey, good idea, you bet! There's some boats floating out the dock. Was one of these boats used in the murder, I wonder? Nick. Huh? I changed my mind. Don't really want to go for a boat ride. Small boat rental shop. Doesn't look like anyone is around. Probably closed because it's Christmas. <laughs> There's more forest off that way. Doubt I'd find any helpful clues in there. December 25th, Gord Lake Woods. I like it here, Nick. Look, someone's camping. We got guts camping in a, at the scene of a murder. Hey, hey, Nick. If they were camping here last night, they might know something about the murder. That's true. Good call, Maya. Let's go talk to them. This SUV has seen better days. It's dented all over. I can't believe anyone would drive this car down here. Hey, Nick! What, well, don't tell me you're hungry again. No, no! I was just wondering, why are camping pots and pans made of aluminum? Hmm. I didn't talk about that in any of the law books. So, there is no law saying they have to be made of aluminum, then? I'm not having this conversation. The sign says no camping. Any place to pick your pit? Pick to pitch your tent? Wait, what if this- I said no setting tents on fire. Uh, I don't think they have signs like that. Oh! <laughs> this 
food and some magazines on the sheet. Takes a, a pretty tough skin to camp in this cold. Slide to the left. This camera has a mic and some sort of attachment. Must take pictures when triggered by noise. Wow, cool! Let's try it out. Cough. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nick. Hmm. Maybe I'm not saying it loud enough. Hey, I'm Nick. Hmm. Huh. Nick! Will you stop that? Maybe it's broken. Don't kick it. Maybe it isn't set to respond to voices. Well, what then? These things? The party poppers? Uh, well, it responded. Yeah! Hey, you! Get your hands off of that! <laughs> what in the Sam hell? Look at what you've done now. There goes a whole roll of film. Huh? What? Huh? Sorry. Sorry's nice, but it's a... Don't pay my bills, y'all. Know how much a roll of that film costs? I'll pay you back. What were y'all thinking setting off a party popper in a place like this? Uh, well... What? Don't try to play stupid with me just because I... You think I'm some country bumpkin. Yeah, I know how y'all yanks think. I say those southern folks to talk with that exaggerated drawl why they must be so dumb. Well, let me tell you. Just because I might be dumb don't mean we all are. Nick, can I help? And who are you now, her chaperone? Uh, yeah, no, uh, mm, not rather, uh, we're sort of friends. Just figures that out y'all gonna say and say it with for bejesus sake. God, I'd rather sit through one of Papa's draws than listen to you stutter all day. Oh boy. I guess we should pay her for the film. Watch it. Yes, ma'am. Second thought, I'll pay later. I'm really sorry. What happened? Oh. What? Can't you see I'm changing the film on my camera here? Someone I'm not naming any names, but someone used a, a whole roll. It's amazing. <laughs> sorry. That didn't work. That's hilarious, Rallis. <laughs> I wonder if anything to show, or if I have anything to show her that would get her attention. Your name? Um, what? Can't you see I'm changing already? Right I don't think we do, Phoenix. Other than. Or, this is my badge. Huh? Aren't badges supposed to be all shiny and impressive? You a cop or something? Um, I'm a lawyer. What? Y'all ain't try gonna try and pull one of them lawsuits on me f over that film now. Cause I'll have y'all know I'm a fighter and I wrestled being a looking things than you. No, no, it's not at all. We're here investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. A murder? Uh, sounds cool. Why didn't y'all say that in the first place. Go ahead and ask me anything you like. Finally, some cooperation. You too. Y'all can come out of hiding now. I won't bite hard. Come out... Or come to think of it, where did Mia, Mia go? <sighs> Sorry. I was feeling a little overwhelmed. The culture gap and all. Never you mind, honey. I can't talk y yank for you if you... Ahem, if it pleases you. <laughs> Thanks. I think it'd be, it'll be okay. Great then. I'm Lada. Lada Hart. But y'all can call me Lada. I'm here photographing m meteor showers for a research project. So, pro mm. Something. <laughs> project. <laughs> Mighty pleased to meet you. Cool. What happened? 
Oh yeah, when was that murder anyway? I ain't seen much television lately. It happened late in the night on Christmas Eve. That's so, Christmas Eve. Man on a boat was shot. Did you see anything? Well, let me see. A boat, you say? I reckon I might have seen one. Not sure, though. Y'all gotta remember I've been watching this he here lake for a good three days now. I've seen enough boats to choke a mule. Kinda hard to remember which one I've seen then. So, what is it you do, Lotta? Huh? Me? <laughs> y'all don't really know what- Or, you- Y'all don't really want to know that, do ya? Actually, I'm a research student at the country, you? Right in the heart of the heartland. Wow, neat! Nick, she's a research student at university, country, you! Uh, so I hear. So, when did you come up here? Hmm, let me see. I guess it was about three days ago. What are you photographing? Didn't I already tell you y'all that already? Meteors! Yep, meteor showers. Falling stars. Really? That's quite an a camera you have there. Y'all better know it. It's German made, a genuine soul engine. Isn't that where they make knives? Um, so what's the device that you have stuck to the camera? Huh? Device? The camera went off all by itself when I fired a party popper. Oh, that! The mic triggers the sh shutter whenever it detects a certain sounds. It's programmed to pick up loud noises right now. A programmable camera? Neat! Otis camera added to the court record. Set to automatically take a picture when loud noises is detected. Faces the lake. This camera is rigged to respond to noise, but only responds to loud noises like party poppers. Trees grow quite thick here. Further back, if the trees fade into the shadow, where the sunlight can't reach them. Let's go back. Oh, right, I forgot about the thing. <laughs> December 25th, Police Department, Criminal Affairs. Uh, looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here. Something wrong, miss. Hmm? Turning yourself in? Okay, what did you do? Shoplifting? Lar larceny? Public indecency? Is he... N no, none of those things! We're looking for Detective Gumshoe. Is he around? Gumshoe? Oh, yeah, he's in a meeting right now. I don't think he'll be out anytime soon. Okay, we'll come back. You do that. Oh, and go straight home and stay out of trouble. No more shoplifting, you hear, Gotha? Ah! Do I look like a criminal or something? Is that the police department's mascot? That's Blue Badger. It was my idea. I made it. It's my mascot. I see. How nice. I got him assigned mascot of the cr criminal affairs department if it's the last thing I do. Um, good luck. <laughs> yeah, accurate. Nearly convicted murderer. <laughs> Nay, they <laughs> at your service. Most are female. Police officer, wait, no, that's the latest babes in uniform. <laughs> New calendar, my bad. God. This must be the chief of the detective here. He's glued to his computer screen. What? Gord Lake! Gordy sighted! I don't believe it! Shouldn't you be reading something more important? There's the detective's desk, the computers and files on each one. Funny, they're a lot tidier than I expected. Guess detectives don't spend a lot of time at their desks. Hmm. 
Must be one of the detectives. He was mumbling something to himself. If your mama could see you, she'd be crying. Breaking a spit out, you lowlife scumbag. Uh, you must be doing image training for interrogations. Let's go back to the detention center then. Oh shoot, he's not here. I forgot about that. Hmm. What do we have? Let's go back to the lake. Beach. Woods. Lotta. Yeah? So your camera, it triggers on loud explosion noises? Yep. Actually, the victim in the case was research or re were researching he was shot with a pistol. A pistol? Right. Now, wouldn't a gunshot make a similar noise to our party popper? I guess it would. Your camera didn't get a picture of the murder, did it? Uh, hey, y'all are pretty bright, huh? I see what you're saying. Tell you what, I'll have a look-see at my film. It would have been a photo taken late last night. I checked them once, didn't remember if it, there was anything on them, though. But what if I got something? I could be a witness to ya. Genuine murder, yeehaw. I'll go check that film. Y'all come back now, yeah? Cool. She went inside her SUV. I guess we should come back later. That's probably what was supposed to trigger being able to go catch up with gumshoes. Ferris apartment. Bingo. December 25th, Police Department, Criminal Affairs. Hmm. I guess Detective Gumshoe is still in that meeting. Hey! Thanks for coming down, pal. Detective Gumshoe's. We just finished the meeting. For better or for worse. Feeling we're in for some bad news? Do you know anything about the victim yet? No, no. Still can't ID him. Has Mr. Edgeworth said anything? Not a word. Meeting. So how did the meeting go? I can't tell you, pal. You're a lawyer. True. You know, I don't know what to believe anymore. Sure, Miss Edge was human like you and me. Still, I get the feeling that if he'd done something wrong, he wouldn't go out hiding it. This is the kind of guy he is. Why can't anyone else see that? So, they think that Mr. Edgeworth did it? Well, the trial's starting tomorrow as scheduled. I see. <sighs> um, hey, in the end, you did tell us about the meeting. Hmm? Don't go telling anyone else, okay, pal. Uh, yes, sir. And do me a favor. Stand by, Mr. Edgeworth. He needs help, and you're the ones who get to help him. I'm sure he's got a reason he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. Trusting Edgeworth. Detective Gumshoe? How can you trust Mr. Edgeworth so much? Well, I think that was obvious. We got a strong working relationship, us two. We trust each other. That's how it works. A working relationship? See, Mr. Edgeworth always gets his defendants declared guilty every time. Yeah, his methods might be a little extreme at times, but there's a reason. He trusts our investigation. See? He trusts us to get the right man. That's why I work extra hard, pal. We got to earn that trust he places in us. I see. The Sedgeworth is a man you can trust. You have my word on that. Autopsy report. I was wondering, did you ever get a, that autopsy report? Oh, that? Yeah, I made a copy of it for you. Sweet. I'm a death. Sometime on 24th or 25th, cause one bullet shot to the heart. Thank you. Nick? Oh. 
Can you show me the photo of the victim? Mm, that face! Someone you know? I... I don't know. I just have this feeling that I met him somewhere a long time ago. Hmm. back there. <laughs> no. Big entrance. Let's see if she's done. December 25th, Gord Lake Woods. Hey, y'all! Lada! Wait up a sec. We got bingo. Bingo? My automatic camera did two photo or pictures last night. Hey! This is them. Take a look. Wait. See? See? He's shooting him with that pistol. It looks like that, yes. But you can't see. Really tell who is that sh or who that is shooting. Yeah, well, there was a enough fog out last night strangle a bullfrog but you know seeing these photos reminded me of something oh yeah i love gum shoes to death he's adorably confused on a regular basis <laughs> what i saw the murder happen i'm a witness what are you serious of course how do you forget? Never mind. Y'all reckon I should kill the cops? I reckon so. I reckon so. What's that? Now don't y'all go trying to mock my accent. I'm a sensitive lady. Hey, so I'm off to tell the cops. Y'all can have this photo. Later. W wait, Lada. What? Can't you tell I'm kind of busy? Tell us what you saw too, please. Nice try, honey, but I wasn't born yesterday. I'm a witness, and that means I'm on the side of justice. That means the side of the cops. I'd sooner eat south the side of a northbound skunk than tell you. Lada! Don't let it get your skivvies in a bunch. Friends today, enemies tomorrow. Oh, was it the other way around? No matter, I'm going. Hey, maybe they'll let me do some testifying. Hot darn. She laughed. Hmm. Oh, that's one more witness. What do we do now, Nick? Well, if she saw something, there's not much we can do about it. The question is, what exactly did she see? I guess we'll find out in the trial tomorrow. Take photo added to the court record. Hmm. Slide to the left. I'm amazed that she would leave this here. Expensive looking camera faces the lake. Next to it is a large microphone on a blue plastic sheet. Hmm. Looks like a computer is attached to the camera. La to the right. Alright. December 25th, Gord Lake picked up the public beach. Looks like the police have given up with their interviewing. Hey! Nick! I think Miss Santa's mad at you! Long time no see, Nick. Nick? You know Santa? Wow, Nick and Saint Nick! Hey, I see the connection. Don't be ridiculous. Dude, it's me! Larry! What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I work at my day job! I sell samurai dogs, want one? Gotta get money for dates, you know? My girl Kay... Kaye's... Deserves the best! Kaye's. Not another model, I hope. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Caius is a fine, fine woman, like... Hi, oh, it was he, her idea. It was her idea that I wear this costume. She was all, "You go, girlfriend." You know, she bought this costume for me. That—that's a great Larry. Wow, a stamp costume. She must be really nice. Whoa, cute. Nick, who's she? She's not sure. Not my what? No, no she's not. I'm his partner, Mayfe. I'm uh, the little sister. Sister. Uh, wow, Nick. Must be tough. Working nine to five, having to take care of the little sister. No, no, no. I'm not Nick's sister. I'm... My older sister... I'm my older sister's little sister. Harry puts dogs! <laughs> huh? Sounds great. Don't worry, May. I? He's not listening. What happened? Hey, Larry. There was a murder here last night, and since you work here, have you heard anything? Nick, you're wasting your time. Last night was Christmas Eve. He was with Kaye, so obviously. He wouldn't have been standing out here in the cold. Oof. Huh? I think what you just said caught him off guard, man. No, it's just... Kaye is not in town right now. She's, she's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. A model. I knew it. Well, anyway, there was a murder here on the lake. Trials tomorrow. Huh, neat. The defendant is Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. Um, Nick? Why would Larry know Edgeworth? Whoa, Nick! You don't mean that, Miles Edgeworth! Old Edgy? Yeah, he's a murder suspect. Whoa, murder! Huh? You know Mr. Edgeworth, Larry? And the plot thickens. Yeah, of course! Edgy was in the same class as us in grade school. What? Um, um, tell me about the the dogs. Huh? Oh, you mean the Sibra dogs? Oh, yeah. Literally half of these people call them Edgy. <laughs> Why are they samurai dogs? I, I mean, they kind of look like, or look gourd shaped. Oh, well, originally they were guard dogs. You know, like guard dogs. Ouch. Samurai thing was Kaiese's idea. Oh, she's my woman, you know. She was all, change the name and you go, girlfriend. She made the, me that banner. It's actually pretty impressive. Man, the kids can't get enough of these samurai dogs. Um, something about that just seems wrong. Oh, and guess what? We're getting a ton of customers here at the lake with the big news. The uh, big news? Yeah, Gordy! G Gordy? So, Mr. Edgeworth was your classmate, Larry? Yeah, Nick, him, and I used to hang out all the time. Wow, I never knew. Don't get me wrong, he's always been kind of a, a stick in the mud. Studying all the time, trying to be like father. <laughs> Like his father? Party off in the corner. I just want to trade my rocks in peace, dang it. Gordy's trying to trade rocks now, Rallis. <laughs> yeah, Edgy's pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Wow. Wait, you said defense lawyer? Yeah. Wait a second. But Mr. Edgeworth is a prosecuting attorney. What? And she's got post kiss his knee. No, no, he's a prosecuting attorney. That's like the total opposite of the defense attorney. Uh, huh? Go figure. He always used to talk about defending the weak, who were unable to defend themselves. And he used to go on and on about a man's duty to society and all that. What a bore. Wonder what changed in his mind, though. You know, Nick? Uh. Um, so what's Gordy? Huh? You mean you don't know? It's here, in this very lake. A giant, mysterious monster. Gordy! A monster? Oh, I'm a dumb. Gordy.
Gordy, the sword and shield gym leader, as opposed to Gordy, the light creature. Definitely. <laughs> I know, I need to just put like a Gordy. I just need to like edit a freaking like image of Gordy in the background coming out of the lake. <laughs> I'm doing that tomorrow, I can guarantee it. <laughs> yeah! Check it out, this is an article from yesterday's newspaper. There's a, there's a photo. Wow, it's really real. Giant life form appears in the Gord Lake. Hot news! Gordy! Yes! <laughs> Nick, a monster! A real monster! Um, yeah. It's probably just a log or something. Right? Hey, there's a quote from the person who took the photo. Hmm? What's this? I set the camera to automatic when we got into the frame. I heard a loud bang! Like an explosion! Followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. I wish I could have seen it! Why would there be a sound of, like, an explosion? Larry. Could I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem. That'll be one million dollars. Uh, one million? Throw up, Larry. Forty article added to the court record. Here and yeah. December twenty fifth, police department criminal affairs. Hmm. Not a gumshoe in sight. If you're looking for Detective Gumshoe, he's in the questioning room. Apparently an important witness turned up. He'll be in there for a while. A lot of heart. Has to be. Oh. Hmm. What is it? Oh! Nothing. Just something's been bothering me. Hmm. Could you show me that autopsy report once more? Hmm. Hey! I remember now! This guy! He's a lawyer that was at the uh, that office Mia worked at. I met him once when I went there to hang out with Sis. That office? Wait. You mean Grossberg's office? Right, that guy. That was the last name I expected to come up. Maybe I should go talk to him for old time's sake. Excellent. Excellent. I mean, accurate. <laughs> December 25th, the Grossberg Law Offices. Is it raining? Oh. Ahem! That's an old familiar clearing of the throat. Ah! You owe me a something, are you not? I was her understudy, yes, Phoenix Wright. Aha! And you're, you're Mia's something too, are you not? Her little sister, yes. You've grown! Come, look a lot like your sister, you know. It takes me back. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. Uh, Mr. Grossberg, sir? Mm? Ah, yes, I beg your pardon. Of course, you came here to discuss something. What is it then? Something the matter? What happened? There was a murder last night. A murder? You haven't heard? I uh, just got up, you see. Well, Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. Edgeworth? What? Who did he shoot? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. This is terrible news indeed. I guess he hadn't heard anything. Mr. Grossberg, whatever happened to that painting? Oh, yes. 
I do not think it shall ever be coming back home to this office. Can't exactly claim it as stolen. I suppose it's just- or it's my just desserts. Old, bitter desserts. Scent. Hmm? Strange. I feel as though I know- I've seen this man somewhere before. Uh, ah! Did you remember? It was a lawyer here in my office! That's Hammond! Robert Hammond! Mr. Hammond? And you say that th this is the man that Miles Edgeworth shot? Oh, shoot. Yeah. <sighs> Who is this Hammond guy, anyway? Mr. Hammond! He was the defense attorney in that case. That case? Yes, the DL6 incident. DL6? Why does that sound so familiar? Perhaps you remember... I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial of Mia's murder. That was the incident where the police were so lost, so at a loss, they used a spirit medium. Eh? Wait, you don't mean, was that the me that medium my mother? Yes, my dear. The spirit mis medium, Misty Fay, your mother contacted the spirit of the victim, but the case was lost. No conviction was made. The L6. The DL6 incident, yes. Happened 15 years ago. A very strange case indeed. They never caught the criminal, right? Correct. Misty Fay used her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony led to charges being laid on against one man. But Mr. Hammond won the case and the suspect was declared innocent. Uh, and the police blamed my mother, calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out then, right, Mr. Grossberg? Uh, yes. Quite. Yes, quite. Thank you. N no, please, don't mention it. <sighs> DL6. Never thought I'd hear that name again. But wait. What does that case have to do, or have anything to do with Mr. Edgeworth? It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. The victim in the DL6 incident was another, uh, none other than his father, Gregory Edgeworth. What? His father? Uh, if you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. Wait, this is a photograph of my mother. Missy Faye was added. Uh, Missy Faye's photo was added to the court record. An old fa photograph. DL6 incident, Exhibit A, was written on the back. Oh yeah. December 25th, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. What's this? I was hoping you'd gotten my message the first time. Edgeworth, what about your defense? Ugh. It's no concern of yours. This is unfound in one yet. Can I ask you about the murder? Right. I'll ask you again, just leave me alone. <sighs> Please try to understand. I'm doing this to prove I'm tough. Or not doing this to prove I'm tough, or because I look down on you. I just don't want you anywhere near this case, understand? Present. Present. Anger. <laughs> Edgeworth. It's only been a matter of hours since you last visited. Yet you've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit it, I'm impressed, right? You were always single-minded in wor your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? About the DL6 incident. Right, DL6. I didn't want you to find out about that. That's why I refused to you your offer to defend me. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. So, do you still think it would be better if I, it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know, but I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well, ask whatever you like and I will answer to my best, to the best of my abilities. Yata, success! 
DL6. The DL6 incident was when my father died. Right before my eyes. He was shot and killed, and I saw it all. <laughs> my memories from that time are foggy. I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, a suspect was arrested, a man. It's pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond is the victim in the Gord Lake book. Correct. Um, that spirit medium, that was my mom. What? You mean your? Uh, it's strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end, and now it this. About end? The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago on December 28th. December 28th? The Statue of Limitations on a case runs out in three days. What? Um, Nick, what's that mean? When a case the Statue of Limitations runs out, legally the case never happened. Three days from now, DL6 will be closed. Forever suspect. What happened to the suspect, the one who got off innocent? I don't know. He disappeared from public view. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. I guess I can understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in such a big case. Um, so was your father a lawyer? He was. Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite a famous at the time, apparently. So you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps? <sighs> I'd rather not talk about it. Hmm? Who would have thought that there would be a photo? Edgeworth, did you shoot him? <sighs> what do you think, Ride? I don't think you're the kind to point a gun at anyone, no. So you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. <sighs> right. Hmm? It pains me to ask you this now. I know! You want us to defend you! Yes. Will you? Of course we will. Ah. Who could have guessed this day would come? Not me. It's my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back? For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. Never mind. Uh, I guess you don't really need to know. Mm. My letter of request. Please give it to Detective Gumshoe. Excellent. Well, I guess we should... Uh. What's that? Earthquake? Nick! It's a big one! Whoa! It's calming down. Uh, whoa! That was scary. Hmm? Huh? Where's Edgeworth? Huh? There. He's on the floor, a ball shivering. And a ball shivering. I guess he doesn't do so well in with the earthquakes. Never heard of running. I've heard of running, but curling up in a ball? Well, I guess we're done here. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't seem like he's going to stand up anytime soon. Let's go, Nick. Uh, right. I know, right? How can you just this poor plankster. <laughs> this man needs a hug right now. <laughs> we have to give Edgeworth's letter of request to Detective Gumshoes. I think, like, when I was playing <laughs> this the first time, like, I hesitated leaving. I couldn't. I'm like, what do you mean we're just gonna leave? December 25th, Police Department, Criminal Affairs. What's going on here? Hey. What's wrong, Detective? This wild lady comes in here just a while ago, says she's come to talk to y'all about, or after hearing what Mr. Wright had to say. What's this all about, pal? A lot of heart. Why are you going around finding more witnesses? 
You want to give Mr. De Edgeworth uh, the death sentence, Val? N no, not at all. Just, I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't go around covering up evidence. Uh, you trying to say something about the way I do my job? No, sir. A lot of testimony. So, what did Miss Hart say? She says she saw Miss Edgeworth fire the pistol. What? She even had a photograph to prove it. Right, I saw it too. But you really can't tell from the the photo who was shooting. That's why she said she's going to enlarge the photo. She said it'll up the quality a mite, but should do or let us see who was who. She can do that? Okay, so there's going to be an enlarged photograph that shows Edgeworth in the act. Great. Just great. And in any case, she's going to be the one testifying tomorrow. Huh? What happened to the other witness? Well, apparently there was a cancellation. A cancellation? I'm afraid tomorrow's going to be the uh, to be life or death for poor Miss Edgeworth. We got a witness who says she saw the very moment of the murder. We got a photo taken when the shot rang out. I'd say... Yeah, that sounds like a pretty unwinnable case. But wait. What did Mia used to say? If he's innocent, there's going to be something that I've overlooked. Sounds like Miss Edgeworth is going to stay to... To ask the state to assign a public defender. I was just asked to file the paperwork. But you still got time, pal. Go talk to him again, for me, please. You have to convince him. You have to make him let you defend him, please. I know you're the only one who can do it, pal. You're the only one who can save Miss Edgeworth. Not to worry. I already have succeeded. Look what I got. Huh? Hey, you did it, pal! Glad I waited till the last minute to file those papers. I'll rip them up and set the new ones for you. Thanks, detective. We'll see you in court tomorrow, then. Good luck, Belle. Hey. You guys feel that earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Worried? We're fine. I've lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. Oh, I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Miss Edgeworth. Oh, right. You did seem to overreact a little now that you mention it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big earthquake, a big quirk. I'm gonna go check on him. You two, go and get, or go eat and get your rest for the tomorrow's trial. Later. Huh. I wonder what it's, is it with Mr. Edgeworth and earthquakes? I wonder. He was never that scared of them when we, he was in school. Here. Then again, I only really got to know him in the fourth grade. Transferred to another school. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. A lot!